Hello and welcome, or for those of you who have been watching the series for some time, welcome back. My name is Gareth, otherwise known as Hiraith23, and we are here back in Archet. Um, if you remember in the last episode, we had dealt with an infestation of spiders in the caves uh, close to the town, and we had discovered that uh, Otley knew something more about this, and uh, we were going to accept his uh, second part of the quest. Um, stay a moment. Now you'll see that this is a level 9, which uh, is only a couple of levels above us. However, it does deal with a named mob. So I think, on balance, what we're going to do is uh, accept the quest, uh, but not actually do it at this point. We'll wait until we come round for the second time to uh, Breland when we've gained a few levels. And the only reason I'm taking the quest right now is because otherwise I would forget it. So, Spider Bane. This Spider Queen, your knife by name, and her ways are known to me. She will have hidden herself in Sprigley's house and blocked all the entrances save one. If you searched the tunnels below the house, I would wager you will find a hidden passage leading to your knife's lair. The vile thing must be slain, or Archit would be overrun by her brood. Oh, would that I were hale and could heft an axe, but that time has passed. Now the mantle of spire pain must pass to you, if you'll have it. I wish you well in facing her, eventually. So, uh, in the meantime, uh, we shall head on out of Archit to Coombe, and my apologies, I have been pronouncing it uh, Coombe uh, for no really good reason, even though I've always known it's Coombe. So here we have uh, Builder Yarur, uh, or Yarir, if it was Welsh. Will it give me a moment of your time, Let's see what... Um, so just his name was the name of the quest to collect his toolbox. Oh, working with wood has always been my trade. So I thought to put my hands to the rebuilding of Archit. I had loaded up my tools and set out when suddenly this mad boar came out of nowhere and overturned my cart. It was all my son Borin and I could do uh, to, to make it here to Orchard, and we had to leave the tools in the wreckage of the cart. If you head south to the gate that leads to Coombe, you might be able to recover my toolbox. I'd really appreciate it, and the folk of Orchard are sure to be better for it as well. The sooner I can get started, the sooner this t their town will be back to the way it was this time, I should say. Watch out for that boar, though. You might be able to get my toolbox without attracting his attention, but you'll need more luck than I have to manage it. Okay, so there is a wild boar, probably one of those diseased boars that we helped to put down some time ago. And we'll uh, take this uh, now familiar route out of Archit. And who is this we have here? Alright, and by the thing we see it's a crafting quest. So, Edward Carver. Would you do something for me? Nice uh, little touch. The uh, crafting relevant name. So, crafting. Strong of arm and sharp of mind. And this again is, I think, equivalent to the uh, the quest we we took in Kalondim, just basically sending us to the the crafting area. Oh, look at you here, Oith, and I see a blank canvas, an un sorry, an uncarved block of wood, an untempered blade, an unread book, any number of things that have the potential for greatness but are still waiting for that potential to be realised. I look around at my home, and I see wreckage, a memory of the comfort that this town once had. It can have that peace and comfort again, Hedith, if those like you will rise to the challenge. 
Skilled hands must be kept busy if they are to improve in their craft. My brother Roderick stands near the craft hall in Coombe, uh, south of Orchard. Oh, from the Coombe Town Centre, take the left path. Okay, so directions. I won't bother with that. I think I remember where that is. Okay, and uh, as we are now... Oh, Hobbit presents. We forgot about those. Let's have a look. It's been a while since I... Uh, played with here, right? So uh, we actually have both available to us. A nice little pile. More money. We are going to be rich by the end of this series. No, we're not, because we're going to be spending it pretty soon. Ah, a rare thing. So we'll, I think in common with uh, what we've done in the past, we will actually hang on to that for now and uh, wait till we gain a couple of levels. We seem to be doing quite all right. Thank you very much with the equipment that we have uh, right now. Let's remind ourselves there's nothing particularly special about it, if you just uh, see that. Sorry, that was very quickly done. You can pause the video if you like, or I can... Um, maybe I'll bring it up for a second here. Oh, well, whilst we with these guys, let's have a look. Yes, now there's, there's a couple of of items that are decent quality for our level. Uh, so, I uh, I misspoke there. Oh, I almost aggroed that guy. Now, if I remember rightly, the uh, the tool is over here. Yes, you can see. So we shall dismount and then. This is also a named mob. So I think it's time to get the bear out. Hello, baby people. Oh, that's... Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> I've never seen them. I've never seen them. Uh... Aggroed on the bear just as it came. That's that's pretty funny. And the bear is taking the beating for us, so that's... There we go. All right, whilst that is done... We shall go take that and try not to be aggroed. Ooh. Go on, bear. I believe we've already we should forget that. Let's go back to the town and uh, turn in this very uh, simple quest. Ah, I've never seen that happen before. That that boar is, is aggro from what I remember in the past, but um, I've never seen it run that far to uh, to attack and not even me atta to attack the bear. So that was that was kind of interesting. So back we go. And uh, once we uh, get back to turn in this quest, uh, I shall, we shall uh, pick it up uh, back to back where we were. Just then, there's no point in you seeing uh, the back and forths. How can I be of service? Oh, you have my thanks, Heroith. And now Borin and I can go to work oops, uh, rebuilding the town. Uh, let's see. Take these coins for your trouble. Those don't look like coins. No, they look like simple rations. Okay. Oh, yes, he has another thing for us. Hello, friend. Could you help me with something? Okay, so this actually started the whole chain uh, quest chain that takes us out to the uh, uh, to the, the woods in our, the Archet uh, Woods uh, sequence, which is uh, going to be a little bit beyond us probably. So, a message for Taylor Green. Well, supplies here in Archet are limited, and will certainly not suffice to repair the damage wrought upon the village. 
Now that I have my tools, I will be able to begin shoring the fences and repairing the buildings where I, where I can. Uh, Archit will need more lumber if it is to recover completely from this attack. If you find yourself in Coombe to the south, seek out Taylor Green and let him know that I will need another order of wood from the lumber yard. If you're not, if you're not been there before, listen well. Okay, so these are again uh, directions which you can. Uh, I will not repeat. I'll read out loud, I should say. Okay, so we will now uh, see you very shortly uh, once we've got to the uh, the Coombe Gate. Well then, a uh, slight change of plan. I was doing a little bit of exploring off camera, just making sure that there were no other quests in this area um, that I had missed. And lo and behold, I came across the uh, Sicklefly Queen, uh, who we actually have uh, taken out. And uh, it's, it's fascinating to me because... Uh, I thought this was just restored for the legendary servers. Um, so we also uh, had gotten this, which uh, I want to now make sure that I am actually recording on Brandywine, because I know I do have another series on Honor. Um, so this is the Lady of the Flies. Uh, and as you can see with the, the text here, this quest has been restored for legendary servers. However, it also appears to be here. If you uh, are not VIP, would you let me know if this car if this creature is still here? I mean, I'm assuming it is. Whether it drops this quest item. Um, so the markings on this Marshfly Queen are unlike any who you have heard of before. Surely, someone at the Hunter's Lodge would care to see it. So uh, we shall go back right up here to the Hunter's Lodge. I'm sorry that that was uh, done off screen. Um, lesson for me, not well to go exploring, but to, to make sure you guys are involved. Um, so here's uh, Fenton. How can I be of service? I always thought his name was Marsh Fly then, but not quite. So well done, here I. Th this is a most peculiar find. And that's it. Um, so it's we also um, by killing her um, had started the uh, Slayer deed for sickle flies, and uh, in in the process of exploring, if you remember the ruins that we had to go and uh, get um, to get uh, some uh, Blackwald orders, I believe it was in the instance. Oh no, that would have. You wouldn't have seen that. That was in the other <laughs> in the other series. Anyway, you have to go to these ruins that are over there in the distance. Uh, you can just barely make out some of the uh, the walls there in the background. Uh, anyway, we we went there because I I, I remember that there was a, a deed, and in which we in fact we did pick up. So uh, this is the uh, the ruins of Breland, basically sort of. The equivalent of the uh, explorer uh, exploring the elf ruins and the dwarf ruins that we we'd had in Eridluin, and also there you can see the sickle flies layer has started. So we have a number of of, uh, of them there. In fact, the only one in this area other than the Blackwold uh, Roost is the Runway's Folly. So we shall go pick that up off camera, and now. Really, for the next time that you see us, we will be at the uh, Coombe Gate. Alright, catch you in a minute. And as you can see, we have now uh, flown past the uh, Bronway's Folly, uh, which is now off in that distance, in the distance over that way. And uh, we are now at the, uh, the Coombe Gate, which we'll go through. And here indeed is the little village of Coombe, slightly larger village in fact than our ship and there are a number of quests here uh, there's lots of things to do and in fact we shall probably go bind ourselves here 
So. Now then, um, let's pick up the stable whilst we're here to do the first thing. Okay, let's talk to, for no, in no particular order, we will talk to Gale. Could I speak with you a moment? So, mourning the dead. Again, this is level nine, but uh, we shall pick it up. Um. I'm sorry, my mind is miles away. I didn't see you there. Did you help fight off the brigands? My dad did. He... He... Gale chokes back a sob. During the Blackwold's raid on Archid, uh, someone broke into our house and stole many of our things. I don't care about most of them, but they took my dad's favourite fishing pole. I don't care if I get anything else back, but he wouldn't have wanted some filthy brigand to have it. Now that I've moved here to Coombe, I've been meet meaning to ask Constable Wren if she could track down that fishing pole for me. Could you ask her if she has any idea where it might have been taken? She'll be at the guardhouse on the hill east of Coombe. And again, this one actually starts again, it starts to send us in the direction that we need to go for a number of quests in this area. Now, uh, this one here, these, uh, I, this guy here, I, let's talk to her, to Maida. I'm sorry to trouble you, but will you help me? Okay, so again, so we're being directed to Constable Wren and reconnecting ties. Pardon me, do you think I could take up some some of your time? I haven't had any word of my son Cowell since the brigand nonsense began, and I'm mighty scared that he got caught up in some trouble. We lived in Archit till recently, but we had an argument. I'm sure you know how they boys are. And Cower left all in a huff. He said he would make his own way down in Coombe, and that's the last I heard of him. Now that I've come to Coombe, I hear he's gone east. If you don't mind, could you talk to Constable Wren for me? She watches the road east of... Yeah, we know where she is. Okay, so there's uh, those two... I know at some point we get um, asked by one of the stable hands to, uh, we have to go talk one of the stable hands because of the, uh, let's go in here, uh, because of the, uh, all the horse shenanigans that, that come along later. Let's ride our horse into the Coombe and Waddle Inn. And here is the part of the, the uh, prologue that we needed to talk to this lady. So, uh, Elizabeth Honeymead, it's a wonderful name for uh, an innkeep. How can I be of service? So, prologue of uh, the urgent summons. Oh my, look here, a real live hero. It's not often we get such respectable folks through here. My, how my tongue runs on. Toradin told me to send you upstairs to his room as soon as you arrived. The stairs are across the room there, and Toradon, Toradon's is the door at the end of the hall. He said you shouldn't delay none. So, a couple of uh, likely looking patrons there, aren't there? So we'll go back this way, up the stairs, uh, more stairs, I presume, and I guess... Oh, let's go look in here. Not in there, but that's a... Uh, let's go and talk in here to Toradan, who is a ranger, I believe. Yep. What do you need? So, an urgent summons. So, the hero of Archit, I suppose. I'm pleased to finally meet you. I'm sorry for the cryptic summons, but I dared not betray my whereabouts to just anyone. 
there is much we need to discuss. Will you hear me? Might I take a moment of your time? So, okay, finding Amdir. Thank you for your aid, Hiraith. My kindred and I were driven from the, the bounds of the Shire by the Nazgul of Mordor. They pursued us eastward and drew, slew many of us. It was my goal to join Amdir, but I have heard rumours of his fate in Archet. They say he was stabbed with a Morgul knife and led off by some evil men, the ones who lent the Blackwold's aid. There are few left now with power over such wounds, and those that I know of dwell some distance from here. We must find Amdir, and quickly, if we are to save him. He's likely being held by the Black Wolves somewhere in the Chetwood. We must find a way to enter their lair and free him, but first we must find them. Speak with Constable Underhill. He may be of help. You can usually find him outside, uh, near the Comb and Wattle Inn. Once you have learned of the Black World's lair, and believe you can gain entry, return to me. Hurry, before it is too late. So again, uh, we will take these early parts of this uh, quest chain, but uh, they will quickly be a little bit too high of a level for us. I love the fact that there is a Constable Underhill in the uh, in the town and if you remember uh, of course that was Frodo's uh, name and I believe in the Prancing Pony uh, sign of the Prancing Pony chapter it is mentioned that there are underhoods underhills in I believe Coombe so uh, nicely uh, played there devs with the lore and so here is Constable Underhill who is a hobbit so, uh, finding Amdir. Mm, Toradin sent you, did he? It's good to have the hero of Archit on our side. The hobbit lowers his voice. There's still a black agent in town. We think he's trying to rebuild the band from among the local ruffians and bullies. We need proof, though. A letter or parchment would do if it came from the agent himself. Many of the brigands hole up in the Chetwood. Follow the road east until you come to the guardhouse where Constable Wren is stationed. Hmm. From here, from there, head north and look for the brigands' watch, uh, watchfires scattered through the wood. Search their sacks for signs of their summons. Of their summons. Let me know right away if you find anything. We need to know what they're up to. Again. Being, oop, being driven oh so very carefully to uh, the right areas. Now, here we have... Okay, Const Constable Sageford. Okay, I don't remember this guy. So you have two quests. Blackwold Valuables. Just do it with you a moment. So... Again, these are all level nines, so we will have to go to the area to determine whether how uh, how easy they will be to to deal with. After the initial raids, when folk began fleeing for, from villages like Archit and Staddle, the Blackwells found they could no longer rely only upon roads to, on raids to support themselves. They seized old Bearman's farm and began tilling the soil though badly, and without care for the land. A very, very Tolkien-esque uh, comment. The brigands at the farm must be under the supervision of some black world leader, else they would fail to la fall to laziness. If you confront the black world leader at the farm, you might be able to recover some of the valuables they've stolen. Old Bowman's farm is deep in the Chetwood, at the end of the of the eastward path. I would appreciate it if you could at least try. There are many folk who would benefit from the recovery of this treasure. So, um, oh, he does have another quest. I'm sorry, running away there before it's done. Would you do something for me? 
Okay, and there's an unpaid debt. The Blackwall brigands are on the run. No question about it. They're trying to regroup at camps throughout the Chetwood, but they suffered a real defeat at Archit. The brigands fled their old encampment up by Archit, carrying a large lockbox, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, which they brought uh, to one of their smaller camps in the Chetwood, uh, northeast of Coombe. If we can get our hands on that lockbox, its contents could be used to help those who lost property to the Black Wolves. There, there are a number of watchfires along the road, so you'll need to find the right one. These villains have a great many debts to, to repay here. I th if you can return with the lockbox, the folk around here will be better for it. Okay, so we are still being uh, driven in this direction and there's a guy up here uh, let's talk to this guy hello Ted Might I take a moment of your time? okay my old dad was a robber some years back and got his hands on a good deal of riches as I hear it constable caught him but afore he was hanged my dad told me where he buried his loot I never needed it for now, so I was content to let it stay buried. But I figure it's time to get my hands on wealth enough to keep you warm and shod, as my dear old dad called it. Mm, can you take this pickaxe and dig the treasure up? Uh, just take the road east from Coombe to past Constable Wren's post uh, by the guardhouse. Climb over the hill on the right and walk down to the riverbank where the uh, hanging tree grows. It'll have an X on it, carved on it. You'll be helping me make a new start of things, and you'll have me everlasting thanks. All right, so uh, let's go. We'll head up towards Constable Wren, and I think at this point we will uh, at least split this episode into two. So we shall see you back here. Oh, actually, we shall... Split it here because I believe this is the crafting hall area that we need to go and uh, and talk to. So um, I'll see you in in uh, part B of of this episode.